pull the carriage and apron saddle, the whole assembly off the lathe here this morning, and I uh, uh, just wanted to show the condition. So none of this has been repainted, nothing retouched. It's exactly like it came off the machine, and it looks pretty much just like it must have looked when it came out of the factory in uh, Indiana in the in the forties. So. Uh, Here's a, you know, here's a area of the saddle that's going to wear. Uh, it 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 shows that it's, you know, seated in. For instance, this one has a polished area up to about here. Uh, similarly, back here, it's seated in just on the outside edges. The the uh, you know, it's not worn into any of this area. Uh, and of course, this side is going to take more of the wear because the tool forces are downward on this side. They're uplifting on this side most of the time. Uh, a couple words about the. Uh, the lead screw. So uh, th this is a new nut. It's uh, it would look like this. This is the standard uh, factory issue nut. This is actually I think a better nut. It came a little small. I ended up having to chase the thread. So I made a thread chaser, left hand uh, seven sixteenths uh, thread chaser, uh, out of a, just a number five bolt here. And uh, boy, it worked great. Uh, I could adjust the uh, uh, just the amount of chasing by inserting different number drills in the end here. And I got that nut to uh, match up with this uh, uh, with this crossfeed screw, uh, where there's almost no backlash in the system. And of course, it's a it's got a taper attachment, so it actually references off this back end uh, off of these two. There's a nut and washer here, and then this spool. Uh, and the the lead screw. I also checked this. Uh, it looks like there's just a little bit of wear on it. Uh, like I'm, I'm measuring uh, with a uh, anvil type uh, micrometer, uh, rod type micrometer. Uh, which would be equivalent to a three-wire method, a difference of about one or two thousandths, one and a half, call it one and a half thousandths from the area that's worn here to the area that should be unworn, which is near here. So uh, the lead screw is just fantastic. Uh, the nut that uh, is now in there matches up very nicely. I'll show this too. Now I did have these two together, so this one may have cut a little bit on this nut, but just to show how much better the uh, uh, or, or what kind of improvement we can get. I don't know. I'm hoping you can see that wiggle. And uh, let's take it over here where there's a better background. But, uh, you know, this this will, we can wiggle this a little bit. And so the new nut, uh, because it's been essentially chased in to, to match the, the condition of this screw, there's none of that is present. In fact, it's pretty much a, a much tighter fit. It, it does take a little more effort to uh, crank it, but uh, not a whole lot more. So anyway, all original paint. This is probably the factory paint here. Uh, the the uh, half nuts look great. Uh, everything's working good on the half nuts. Um, that's the carriage. Okay, here the uh, apron is with the uh, saddle off. And uh, man, it just looks amazingly good. There's there's no breaks in the uh, any of the teeth here. Everything looks great. Uh, there's the hand wheel, clutch, everything. It looks it looks brand new. I mean, this is a this thing is just in amazing shape. So anyway, that just one more bit of evidence. It says the lathe has hardly had any use. So that looks really good in there. I don't see any bad scratching. And down here, uh, this one, that's mostly dirt that's uh, on the outside where it uh, travels on the flat way. And if we, uh, yeah, there's really, I don't feel any lip on this. I wanted to show the uh, run out on the spindle. So uh, this uh, indicator is graduated in ten thousandths of an inch, so uh, this, each division is one tenth. Of a thousandths, and uh, you can see there's almost no movement, which means that we're well under a ten thousandths of an inch of run out on the spindle. It's fantastic. All right, so uh, we've got our dial indicator on a mag base here. It's a ten thousandths reading indicator. Uh, we use this uh, to check the spindle run out. Now we're going to use it for the uh, bearing clearance. So uh, we're going to go a little negative, so it's about uh, four tenths negative, and then about uh, five tenths positive, five tenths positive. So it's got about nine thousandths clearance. The minimum spec on it is seven thousandths, so uh, should be uh, right on, just perfect. The uh, this is the what they call the nose protector. 
really what it is, it's a means of extracting this piece. I'm going to put this on first, and we'll allow this one to come off when we're ready. Here's a, uh, here's a collet with a uh, grade 5 bolt in it. And I'm sure it's a nice Chinese grade 5 bolt, but it's, uh, it's 3 quarters in diameter. So that's how quick the, uh, the change out to the collet chuck goes. I'm going to just tighten this down while it's still in back here. In fact, what I'm trying to do is get past the flats. I'm going to get past the flats so I got the cutter set. Well, it's going to be a cut, I'll tell you that. All right. Got to reverse our feed. Just amazing. We turn the speed up, turn it down, we turn it down a little bit. I was seeing some sparking, I don't like to see that. But uh, they were taking all the flats off of that bolt, and uh, there's no belt slippage going on. Taking all the points off, I should say, right down to the flats. And actually, we might be a little under the flats at this end of the, of the uh, head. There we are. <laughs> look at that. It worked like a charm. And uh, here again, look at that interesting chip. You see what used to be the points on the uh, on the hex head. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Nice chip. Nice and long. No brakes. Very uniform. Tells us that the uh, carriage advance is nice and uniform. And everything's working well there. So there she is. Went from uh, went in one pass from uh, from this to that. One pass, no belt slippage. Excellent.